Okay, we're working on lowering uh, 70 VW Beetle. Uh, I've got the body off um, to re replace the floor pans and the support rails. Uh, that's already been done. You see I've got some parts hanging underneath there that are drying and just painted those, but i uh, got the new support rails all welded in. Since it's a convertible, that's a, a piece that would not be on a standard uh, sedan. But uh, anyway, floor pans are all in. Uh, it's all painted, starting to put things back together, but I'm lower in the car and these spring plates in the torsion housing are really difficult to get loose of this little stop under here, right here. That plate sits on that and it's under extreme uh, pressure, spring pressure. So a lot of guys will just beat on them with a hammer from this side and try and pop it off of that it's basically hooked on that spot right there and uh, they'll beat them with a hammer until they pop loose and then they clang down really hard uh, it's not a very safe way and it's not good on the torsion uh, spring plates to do that so the way I do it is I take a floor jack and I just hook a regular uh, motorcycle strap around the top of the shock tower uh, your shock would normally mount here but uh, this is one of the body bolts here, so if it is, uh, if the body's on the car, you'll have a little trouble getting looped up here. But uh, loop the strap around here somewhere, and uh, basically you're strapping your floor jack to the car, and then put a block of wood under there and spring uh, under the spring plates. Now you can lift the spring plate with the jack and get it off of that hook and it does put a lot of tension on that strap but it'll hold it so now I'm off of that hook see my plate is now up and off the hook so what I'm going to do here is just take a normal like a construction pry bar and just stick that right in under that hook right like that and get behind that plate I'm just going to not pry on it. I'm just going to leave it sitting there. Okay, so it's just hanging on its own tension right now. But it is behind. This is an IRS car, so it's a little different. It's got two plates instead of one. But basically, it's behind that. You can see it in there. Uh, but that's basically ramping. So when this plate comes back down, it's going to uh, clear that hook. So now I go back to my floor jack. Turn the handle, loosen it just a little bit. We're gonna start going down and you'll watch that plate basically come right off of that hook without having to beat on anything. Right bar goes up, boom. Plate's clear. Nobody's hurt, nobody's banged anything up. It's been a nice controlled release. Now I just take my pry bar, it's going to be stuck in there a little bit, but just kind of wiggle it back and forth. I'm not even really pulling out, I'm just using gravity and a little bit of pull. There it's loose. So now my plate or my uh, spring plates are off the hook. Now I can uh, take them out and adjust them however many splines I, I choose, put it back together. So simple, safe. Uh, no cost or very low cost if you don't own a pry bar, uh, easy way to do it.